All right, example three. Consider the heights of the following pairs of samples. Which will have the largest f? Which will have the smallest f? Okay, let's think about this. So players from uh, NBA team Lakers versus adults in LA. Well, if we drew those two population, right? Lakers versus LA, right? This probably has a lot of variance, right? A lot of variance here, because that's a lot of people. This probably has a very, very small variance, right? But there's probably a pretty, mm, some sizable difference between those two groups of people, right? Like average adults versus like the Lakers, who are probably all amazingly tall. Well, so that's the picture here. Will this have a large F? Will it have a small F? I don't know. Not yet. Well, what about adults in San Francisco versus adults in LA? Well, these two probably both have a lot of within sample variation. There's lots of adults in San Francisco, lots of adults in LA. They're all different from each other, right? But their averages should probably be similar, right? Because it's not like San Francisco is known for super tall people or LA is known for super tall people, right? So this difference between the groups will probably be very small, but the within group variability will be very, very large, right? So I would guess this would have actually a pretty small F. And what about this one? This one is players from an NBA team, Lakers, versus players from another NBA team, the Clippers, right? And so here we might think, Lakers, Clippers, right? And there's probably a pretty small variation here. Probably everybody is like above six feet tall, maybe even taller, right? Above like six four or something, right? And so they're probably all like super tall, so there's not a lot of variation. But they're also probably similar across the teams too, right? So because probably the average height on the Lakers is probably similar to the average height on the Clippers, just because they're both super tall groups of people, right? So which ones of these will probably have the largest F? I'm guessing the biggest difference between the groups might actually be this one, right? Um, so I would guess, I would go with this one, given that I'm not really sure about the variance here, right? The variance is smaller, but I'm not sure how to compare these so far, right? So this is for largest F, and I'm just going to go by the, having the largest uh, numerator for sure, right? Well, which will have the smallest F? I would say the smallest F would probably go with this one. Because not only does it have a small numerator, but it has an extremely large denominator, right? So I would say this one would definitely have the smallest F. All right, so that's the end of F distribution. See you next time for ANOVAs on educator.com.